Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Sunday, okay? Thank you for coming to the channel, my YouTube channel, Deb Chanel's Forex World. The top story I'm going to be talking about today that's trending on social media is basically our friends. Let's talk about our friends, honest, because Spinderella is going to be my top story seeker today. She talked about her friends, honey, that she was getting down with back in the day. She talking about throwing lawsuits. Yes. Putting that gavel down. Lawsuits. She telling me, show me the money. Show me the money. Show me the money. Okay? Show me the money. Show me the money. Show me the money. Yep, Cinderella is mad, y'all. If y'all don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about Cinderella, the DJ that was with Salt and Pepper. Yes, her friends, her so-called friends. Yes. She is on Black America, OK Magazine, shoot, any kind of blog out there. They got the news media takeout, uh, Atlanta Black Star, Hollywood Gossip. Yes, they talking about the friends. How many of us have them? That's what she's asking, friends. The one we can depend on. Evidently, it's not these two. It's not Salt and Pepper, honey, formerly known as Sandra Deaton. And Cheryl James, <laughs> she talking about they are not her friends. Hey, friends, mm -mm. remember Houdini? How many of us have them? Friends, mm -mm, mm -mm. the ones we can depend on. Friends, do -do -do -do. how many of us have them? Let's be friends. Yes, the ones we can depend on, but she can't depend on them because they depending on her to get out the uh group. They threw her out the group. Hey, they threw her out the group. Threw her out the group. So that friendship was what? I don't know. It was, was just about publicity or something. But Cheryl, uh-uh, honey. Cheryl and Sandra are wrong. That girl been rocking with them since I don't know how long. Since Salt and Pepper been out. Okay? They went through other DJs called Spinderella because it is original one. I guess I gotta find her picture. It ain't really relevant but the whole thing is when you have friendships out here or you treat your friends like family, so you just delete the word friend, they family. Because you're either going, like I said, you're either going to have friends or foes. You're going to have friends or associates. You're going to have friends or what? I don't do it like that. My friends that I can depend on that's right or die, I can count them on three hands. No, no, I have three fingers, not three hands. Excuse that interruption, malfunction, malfunction, go back to. All right. You either gonna be considered a associate of mine, and I do have lots of them. Okay, they replace the word friends, or you're gonna have people that are not biologically, biologically related to you, but you treat them just like they family. Okay, you 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 hold them down like folks like ties. You know what I'm saying? Brother die, brother die. But in my life of living. And I've been on this earth 51 years, okay? We ain't going to count 20 of them because that was my growing stages, all right? But the other 31, I'm going to say I learned a lot, a lot. And what, TLC? What about your friends? Will they stand their ground or will they let you down again? Oh, what about your friends? Are they going to be around? Something. Or would I turn the backs on you? And I think that's what Salt and Pepper did to Miss Spinderella because she upset. They start kicking her out of the group, telling her she can't be part of this, part of that. They promised her X amount of money, and it wasn't materialized nowhere. So she said, forget about this. I can cut y'all off and just go and say, forget it. But getting back to my spiel, okay? I was saying, in my 31 years of living, going up and down the road, a life, picking and choosing who I wanted to be surrounded by me in my corner, in my circle, and where if I tell a secret, it ain't going nowhere. And if I know it went somewhere, I know the people that are told. And I've learned to just not even tell family members sometimes. Sometimes the best kept secret is the one you don't reveal. If you're revealing it to somebody, reveal it to your dog. Reveal it to the Lord. Well, first, first and foremost, de deliver it to the Lord. Okay? Talk to the Lord about the situation. And he will give you understanding, wisdom, guidance, and peace. Okay? That's no joke. If you're floating in the spiritual realm, which you should be anyway. All right? 
But if you're not, check it out. You'll be very pleasantly surprised. Don't do a crime. If you can't do the crime by yourself, because Lord knows when you get caught, you ain't going to be able to do the time, not physically or mentally. All right? So if you're going to do those things or speak those things, keep it between yourself and the Lord. Or like I said, a pet. Or not a parakeet, because they tend to want to talk everything you tell them. So, you know, you can't. A dog is better. A dog is better. <laughs> okay? <laughs> a dog is better. Let's get on into this top story that broke out on Black America Web. Got to get on props. That's what I get a lot of my commentary that I would love to be talking about with you all. Okay. <sighs> they broke a story. They sure did. It was titled Spinderella, the DJ of, or I should say the former DJ of Salt and Pepper. Okay. They were rocking with us in the 80s, the 90s. Ooh, I'm telling you, they ought to be too old and too tired and too fool to be trying to throw somebody under the bus just trying to get this money out here. Isn't it enough for everybody to eat? Is it not enough for everybody to eat? Why we got to be like crabs in the bucket? We get out. We want to keep the other ones suppressed or oppressed. We ain't letting them get out. We want to get all we can get. It's I, 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 not we, 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 we. Okay, we got to break that stigma. We're going to have to break that train of thought. Okay, everybody can get some out here. Because everybody don't want to live uh, real filthy, filthy rich lives. They just want to be able to pay their bills on time and relax a little bit. You know what I'm saying? That's me all day, every day. I don't need a lot. Okay, I don't need a lot. Because I already know my life is short on this time because I'm getting older on this earth. All right. I have done many, many wonderful things. I have made several mistakes, okay, out there learning experience. But at my age, uh-uh, <laughs> I'm pretty much settled. I want to have my bills pay on time, just a little cushion money in the bank in case the emergencies come up in my life and my family's life, and I want to help somebody, you know what I'm saying? But just knowing I could pay my bills whether I got paychecks coming in or not because I got it stacked away in the bank is cool with me. You know what I'm saying? If I had to lose my job for some reason or another, I got like one or two years uh, worth of money that I could survive on. You know what I'm saying? It's all about being frugal and putting your man money where it's best invested. Okay? You ain't got to live life like the Joneses, the Smiths, and the Johnsons. Okay? Even though my last name is Johnson, we struggle here and there too. <laughs> but I'm just giving y'all a cute example. Set the life you want to live. Don't look at nobody else in front of you, on the side of you, or in back of you. Play your own rhythm, make your own tune, and live your own life. You see what I'm saying? Live what's important for you, what you want to see in your life. Don't be looking at the sideway mirrors and looking on the side of you or in front of you or what somebody else has got. Because the grass is not always greener on that other side. You don't know what kind of hair them folk catching over there. And you just wishing and wanting to be just like them. Uh-uh, no, make you your own competition. Okay, that's all I'm saying. And pick your friends. And choose your friends or wives. And like I say, you either an associate in my life or you family. That's just it. And you ain't got to be biological, biologically related to me. You hear what I'm saying? But that was just how I kick it. That's just my life. I live right now to each his own. But getting back to this Cinderella Sue, Salt and Pepper for unpaid royalties. Let's get on into this commentary. It was written by Veronica Wells. I guess she's a little journalist. A uh, columnist writer for blackamerica.web. Get into it. Go check them out. Read the stories. Okay. Here we go. Cinderella, the DJ known for her work with rap trio Salt and Pepper, is suing her former bandmates in unpaid royalties. According to The Blast, the DJ filed a federal lawsuit against the women after they abruptly fired her. Cinderella, whose real name is Deirdre, Roper is suing Pepper, Sandra Deaton, and Salt Cheryl James. The lawsuit states that the group started recording and performing in the mid-80s. Spinderella says she helped create the success of the group. Yes, she did give her her props, y'all. That's my pun intended. Don't even go there. All right, going back to the article. Even though the band went into high 80s in the late 90s, Spinderella continued promoting the band. But things took a turn in the early 2000s when she discovered there was a best of compilation album being released. 
Spinderella said Pepper told her that she would pay her $125,000, but that never happened. Okay, they're trying to say it never materialized. Okay, it was just mouth talk. One no action put in the works of making that come to fruition. You know what I'm saying? Drop me my money. Show me the money. Show me the money. Leave all that talk for yourself. Leave all that chitter chatter for yourself. Show me the money, the greenbacks, the coins. That's what I'm looking at. That's what Spinderella was saying. That ain't in this article. That's my pun intended. Okay, moving on back to this article. It says, by the early 2000s, the defendants discussed with Roper an S&P reunion, means out of Pelp, okay, which would have possibly involved, among other things, a television show based on the legendary female groups, Rise to Stardom. DJ Spinderella claimed that she was promised a third of the group's profits from the reality show. While she was featured on the show, she has yet to be paid. Okay, that ain't right. That ain't right. Okay. who these friends showing their true colors and it ain't good. It ain't good on that rainbow. It ain't good. Okay. Going back to the article, it said, according to the Jasmine brand, this lawsuit is a long time coming. In addition to royalties from the album and reality show, Spinderella claims she was never paid for the 2018 Billboard Music Awards performance. Never paid? That's what she said. Oh, the Jasmine brand reports that the lawsuit became necessary when Spinderella learned through sound exchange that the group had earned more than 600000 in royalties over the last 10 years. Spinderella claims she hasn't received any of that money. And this is my sidebar. This is this strictly my opinion now, okay? And I have one just like I have a mouth. All right, like everybody else. Spirit, well, what the hell were you thinking of? What? Why weren't you getting paid, honey? I would have been every time I had to get on that little that turntable wheel and mix for the uh, young ladies in my group. I was like, where's my money? I need half on, on, on before I even step up there. I need half. And I need the other paid to be half. Uh... The other page to be paid to me before I leave this uh, function. Okay? Because we ain't going to be spending no records. I ain't going to be scratching here and there doing no. <laughs> nah, I'm going <laughs> to. That's what I'm going to be doing up there until I get my money. Okay? Show me my money. Not show me the money, but show me my money. My cut. My check that I can cash when I leave this joint or cash in my hand tax free. However you want to do it, give me my money. And that was my pun intended. Let me get back on to this article. Okay. It says uh, she's suing for trademark infringement, breach of contract, and fraud. She states that the group used her name to advertise their appearances. Earlier this year, when Salt and Pepper announced that they were participating in a tour with new kids on the block and not about nature, but Spinderella released a statement sharing that she would not be joining them because she was kicked out of the group. Okay. They didn't want to tell us that, y'all. They didn't want to tell us. And then it started <coughs> pretty much showing um people giving their opinions on what tra- uh, materialized on this whole thing. Uh, but let me give you, uh, <coughs> excuse me, Spinderella's uh, post on her Instagram account, which she wrote uh, in this year. Uh, it says, I'm, de- I'm deeply saddened to share with all of the Salt and Pepper and Spinderella fans that I will not be performing on the New Kids, New Kids on the Block mixtape tour, despite my participation in promoting the tour and being highly publicized as one of the acts. In January 2019, I received a termination email from Salt and, Salt and Pepper excluding me from performances with the group. It was my expectation after making that decision that they will also take responsibility for sharing the news with the public and other affected parties. It has been months now with no mention. Out of love for my fans and a commitment to upholding a standard of professionalism. Okay. I've taken it upon myself to let everyone know I refuse to participate in misleading or misleading fans, ticket holders, and others who, based on all the advertising, were anticipating seeing the iconic salt and pepper and spinderella trio. Okay, get it, girl, get it, get it, get it, get it, girl. So I'm making it clear now. Please know you will have the opportunity to see me this summer and many other projects and activities I'll be participating in. And I look forward to seeing you all then. Thank you, the Spinderella. Okay, she put that spin on her. She's like, uh-uh, y'all ain't gonna write my story. Y'all ain't gonna tell. 
or make up a narrative for me to follow. I'm, I'm not an actress and I do not take orders that I don't agree with. OK, so let me write and tell and publish my own story on this issue. OK, that's what she said. And I ain't mad at her. I ain't mad at her. But those so-called friends are kind of shady and janky, I would think. And I'm like, good Lord, good Lord, honey, why y'all got to do this? Y'all were so iconic. Y'all had that uh, female rap thing down, like uh, White on Rice. And then you had other leaders in the group, like Sister Soldier, uh, Queen Latifah with U-N-I-T-Y. Yeah, Unity, uh-huh. You had her, uh, the bread out there. Shoot, um, MC Light. Hey, you had little Cam out there showing a little thing too. But I'm just saying, you know, it's an ear with an ear. Why y'all gotta show out like that? I always the black ones, you know. And I ain't gonna really put a, a real dot period on that because you know I only know it because I'm in here. I'm black. I'm African American. You know, I'm the Negro. Right, however you want to see it, however you want to get down. So I can't talk about European life. I can't talk about the Caucasian life. I don't live that life. I was born in uh, what do you call it? race of a culture, okay? Even though I feel all of us are European in, in such a way because we don't have strictly black blood running through us. Not through our ancestral line, okay? Let's just put it how it is, okay? But we all bleed red blood, you know what I'm saying? I'm an assumption that we all do, okay? I don't know. This world's getting kind of crazy out there so i don't know what is being walking around on this earth anymore <sighs> but that was just my pun intended don't reflect too much on it those who have eyes to hear let them hear those who have eyes to see let them see okay but what i'm saying here what about your friends y'all are they gonna be around or are they gonna let you down because it seemed like whoo Somebody got let down. It looked like Spinderella was it. So she had to call her auntie and put um, salt and pepper on blast, which she should have. But hell, I wouldn't have waited this long. Once we start, you know, kind of getting slow in the revenue and I start promoting heavily, I was like, uh-uh, I need my coin. Mm -mm, I ain't going to be no third wheel, y'all. Mm -mm, y'all might be out there rapping, but I'm back here spinning, okay? Because y'all should have been X me out. Y'all should have got a man uh, DJ. Get your hype up that way. You know what I'm saying? But I was supposed to be my girl empowerment, girl doing the thing, women doing the thing, all that kind of thing. And just say, like, you know, why women looking janky and trying to get shady and shit like that? I don't understand. I don't. Show me. Show me why. What happened? Is money that evil out there that we can't seem to join together and have a, a collective decision to say, hey, why we don't get this money together, okay? Why one of us got a little hide in the net, you know? What happened to us, you know, uniting, you know, and doing what we need to do? Because it ain't salt and pepper. It's salt and pepper and Spinderella, okay? All right? Hey, just like um, Gladys Knight. She couldn't just be Gladys Knight without the pips. That train of Georgia wasn't going to move without the pips. She needed them in that background. We want to see Gladys. We want to see the pips back there doing them two steps and then and, and them different uh, changes and stuff and, 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 you know, sliding and the footwork. You know, it wasn't all about, you know, glad hell. You know what I'm saying? Who else I can say? It wouldn't have been no Tina Marie without James. Rick James, okay? That's what I'm talking about. That fire and desire, Jane Camille, that's saying, you know, oh, them and me, them. That's what I used to do. Use and abuse them. Then you had Tina. It was high before pleasure. Y'all know I can get out like that, did you? I know I should be in the entire business too, but hey, I, I, I ain't want to do that. But I'm just, I'm just giving you an example. I'm just giving you an example. You got, you know, if it's tit and tat, if it's yin and yang, you can't forget about the other person. You can't do it. You can't, you can't do it. All right, but that's all I had for this story. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Gave y'all some of my theatrical uh, mishaps. <laughs> Whatever, whatever can make you laugh, get your day started, get your day uh, winding down. However, whenever you're viewing this video, hope you got your key keys, your last, whatever. That's what I choose to do on my channel. Uh, I don't, I'm not drama field, so, you know, don't think you're going to get any drama out of me over here because I don't care. You call me fat, black, uh, ugly, you know, old, 
looking tired, silent, tired. You can do whatever you want to do, okay? That's not my concern. That's your concern, okay? I'm just giving you what I want you to have. My pun intended, my examples, my visuals, and my opinion, okay? Like it, love it, lead it. I love it all, okay? I listen to it all. I see it all. I know it all when it comes to what I want to do on my channel, okay? So I just see what it is. Love it or like it, don't matter to me, okay? But I appreciate the ones that do come by. Drop me comments, subscribe, show me that like uh, button being light up, lit up, and then you're sharing my videos. Now, I appreciate them. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> and to give me some supplemental income going on, okay? Because mama can definitely use that extra money, okay? It's better than going out and getting another job. You see what I'm saying? Get into it. Make your YouTube channel. Be the best person you can be. Do what you can be. Okay? But make it truthfully to yourself. Okay? Because then it becomes a job that you don't really like doing. And then, then you just be frustrated up on him. Pick your platform that you want to see you thrive in. Okay? And nobody else can touch you. Because it's all about you. You're having fun. You're doing what you want to do. You're saying what you want to say. And you're going to get people to gravitate to you. And it's going to be some that like, I, I don't like that. And that's their choice. Okay? But be you, do you, however you see you on these YouTube streets. Okay? Thank you, y'all. And I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.